because we were drawn to it because that was the, the everything was happening really uh to where the um all the students were but as well the poets were and the arts and the clubs and it seemed the, the hot place to be you know and uh, it was very good but I remember my mum and all them people saying oh Liverpool 8 you know, and they still that feeling you know oh Liverpool 8 dodgy a bit dodgy that but you know it wasn't and um you know it's just it's the natural place to, to go uh to go and so i we just i fitted in loved it around the corner from adrian hendy's there and sam walter's there and brian patton's there and so forth and so on one last thing roger taking a uh, black and white photos oh, yeah. of everyone yeah. um that we've been through yeah so if we could do that well, you, yeah i'm just thinking of the light there so yeah. i think Probably just about, yeah, just just in the shade would be great, yeah. actually, yeah, just Probably. so we're not getting too Yeah, interesting, it's good, because I often think, um, if I was a young man now, you know, I don't know if I would find the need to leave Liverpool, in a way. Now, when I was younger, when I was, say, at uni and come back to Liverpool, I went back to teach for a bit, but there's always that thought, you'll go off, if you want to be, like, a writer, or a photographer, or something, something, you go to London to do it because that's where the, the jobs are and that's where the money is and that's where the firms are and that sort of thing, you know, and if you want me on television, you know, and that sort of thing. And to do what you do, you wouldn't have thought of doing that. You wouldn't be able to do it then. You know, you'd have to go off yourself uh, down, down to London to find doing it. So I wonder whether I'd have, if I was young now, whether I'd move, in fact. There'd be nothing to move away for, really, you know, to be honest with you. Um, but at the time, it was what you had to do. And the jobs were down here and I followed the the money and the band and so forth and so on. But I did refuse jobs down here. Remember I stayed with the scaffold, even though I'd been offered work down here with, um, who's the guy who did the Beatles' Hard Day's Night and uh, the film? Was that Richard Lester? Richard Lester, yeah. I mean, he offered me a job uh, writing a film, a film script and took me down to the studios in Twickenham and that was great and could work on this job. Oscar Lowenstein was the producer. Uh, about a Joe Orton script he'd written, Joe Orton, for film, and they brought me in to, to rewrite it as a film. And it was a great idea, and they showed me the office where it was going to work. And um, I came over all Liverpool. And by that I mean, it's happened to a lot of friends of mine at times in their lives, but guys in bands who suddenly get off a, a contract and right lads come down to Liverpool, and let's do it down there, and they won't do it, and they stay there. Liverpool, and I had that, so I couldn't do it. Fear of living, fear of leaving Liverpool, F O L L, fall, we all had fall. Um, and I didn't do it then. I went back to Liverpool, and I stayed with the scaffold until eventually, for all sorts of reasons, uh, I, I ended up down here. But there's always that thing about um, stay where you are known, uh, and where you can find friends and, and so forth amongst your own. It's a sort of that Liverpool thing about loving Liverpool and leaving it. You, you do feel good when you leave it. And as you know, Liverpool people, obviously, you traitor, you traitor, <laughs> you traitor. Call yourself a little, you know, plastic, plastic scouser. But you know, you're always a Liverpoolian. But the reasons you do these things, and sometimes the right reasons, and sometimes you get out.